What is going on guys, it's Eric here from NicheScraper.com and welcome to part 3 of our introductory series to NicheScraper uh, talking about the different features that we offer to help you find winning products for your Shopify store, your, your WooCommerce store, your you know, Alley Dropship store, whatever store you have out there. Uh, we help you find winning products for it. Um, and this is part 3, so if you're not watched part 2 or 1 where I talked about our handpicked product list or how to use this um, web scraping tool Go back and watch those because they're super important. So, but anyways, in part three, I'm going to be focusing on talking about our Facebook ad generator, um, which is a really awesome tool that we developed in house. Um, so let's go ahead and click on that right here, and I will kind of describe it to you. So, basically, you know when you're creating a Facebook ad, um, generally videos tend to convert better than photos, right? Uh, videos are a little more engaging. People tend to, tend to stop for videos and actually watch them. Um, videos you can actually get more information in a shorter time so you know with a photo you have to kind of like lay all the information out correctly you know Facebook dings you for having too much text things like that you know, videos can offer a lot of information like 15 seconds so um, in general you want to create video ads if you can um, and that's kind of what we aim to do here so we want to help you do that really easily um, most people don't have a lot of video editing experience or don't even have time. Like I can create videos, but it takes a lot of time to go through and create a video for every single product I want to you know, test, especially because I don't know if all of them are going to work, so I don't want to invest a ton of time. So what this allows you to do is to just paste in your Shopify URL or your AliExpress URL, um, click Fetch Images, and you can create a video straight from that to use on your Facebook ad. <clears throat> so let's look at an example here. Let's go to dudegadgets.com. I actually have this product already picked out copy in, copy this Shopify URL right here, oops, paste it here, click fetch images, and what it's going to do is it's going to pull in all these images here, um, and you can select the ones you want to use in your video, so maybe, maybe you want to use these four here, um, and I will talk about some more of these features, but just to show you how it's done while I'm talking, click generate, and it's going to create a like little slideshow, cool promo video for these four images. Um, Another thing to note is if you do not have a Shopify store, that is fine. You can always upload your own images yourself. So like go to your store, save the images you want to use in your video and just upload them manually. Or if you got your product from AliExpress, you can always just paste in your AliExpress URL right here. Click fetch images. It's going to do the exact same thing. So that's really important to know. Um, so our video was finished generating. And if I click play, you can see the demo video here. forth yeah so it'll basically create a nice video you can click download and you can just upload upload that straight to Facebook and run an ad for it um, and this is gonna do a lot better than just your plain old uh, Facebook photo ad if it was just something like you know, just this or something um, so let's talk about some features here um, if you notice there is this tag a friend who needs this bar at the top this can be changed with these text options so you can add top bar text or a bottom bar text uh, this one doesn't have it, but if we added something like buy yours now, you have a bar down here, and that looks pretty kind of meme-ish, um, which people scrolling through their feed will stop and see that and be like, ooh, I want to watch that. Um, so that's why these video ads typically are very high converting um, and why this tool is so powerful. So you know, change this to whatever you need. Um, I like to leave it at the default of this because it tends to work pretty well, but do whatever you like. Um, this in shopping screen text. So if I make this video go to the very end, you'll see this shop now. <laughs> shop now do gadgets. So it'll automatically use the URL you pasted here. Um, but you can change it whatever you want. So it can be like dude gadgets, or you can leave it blank. Um, but essentially, you can just customize the text here. Um, if you do have your brand name here. And it'll automatically add this little white border for you know some style purposes. If you want to get rid of that, just uncheck it, and it'll just show up as like white text. So that's one thing you can customize. Um, you can choose a list of our royalty-free music here to add to your video. So just click on it, and click preview if you want to hear it. And I don't know if it's actually showing up through the video, but um, that I'm recording right now. But uh, you can play through these different uh, audios and find one one that you like. Um, and we'll also be adding a lot more coming in the near future. So if you don't like these, we're going to add an option that you can upload your own, or we'll also increase this list as well. Uh, moving on to advanced, 
uh, time per image, which is pretty self-explanatory, um, we show each of these images for three seconds. So we can make it you know, one second if you want a faster video, or like a five seconds if you want a slower one. And that's just how long each of these uh, images are displayed. Um, next is image fit. And this one most people don't quite understand because um, it's a little more complex. But um, if you have a, an image that isn't exactly you know, the square size, maybe one is like you know, a thin rectangle, right? Um, it's going to have like black bars on the side. So when you say image fit, it's going to take that image and make sure the whole image is shown within this box, right? It's going to scale it down, make sure you see every single part of the image, even if that means if you have like white bars or black bars on the side. If you say image fill, it's going to make sure we blow out that image so the whole screen is covered with that image. Um, and that's what's happening with this uh, picture right here. Um, it's like stretched out so it's actually covering every single square inch of this uh, video. So. If you didn't quite have the fit you want, just play around with that till you like it. So uh, this is kind of a common terminology in video editing, but if you're not familiar with it, uh, it's good to have an explanation. So good to know that there. And then the last thing this is also really cool is if you want to actually add text and um, you know show a little more details about the product over each one of these slides, you click you know add text here and be like um, deluxe, I don't know like luxury ring for men or something like that and it's going to show that text you type there sliding across the screen right here um, and you can also change the animation so if you notice right now that the photos slide in and they kind of like zoom in right zooming in zooming in oh. You can change this animation if you want. So we can have it so it pans down to the right. Um, you can have this one so that it, I don't know, pans up and to the left, or this one can stay slow zoomed in, or we can have one that doesn't zoom in at all. Um, so let's click generate actually, so you can see what that looks like. Um, but that's really all you need to know. Just play around these options. I just want to give you a brief overview of how things work, since not everyone's familiar with these options, um, and we will also be adding more in the future. Uh, it's still in beta, so we're working out some kinks, um, adding some really cool new features to it in the upcoming uh, weeks. So stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, it's a great way to save some time um, and test out a bunch of uh, videos, and especially save you some money if you're paying someone right now to make your videos for you. Um, you know, just doing this you know, with the membership will save you a ton of time and money there. So let's play this one. You can see the difference. <laughs> So because this is aspect fit, you're going to see these white bars, but you're going to have the whole image fitted inside this block. Um, you can see the luxury ring for min text that we added here, which slides in with the image. Um, I think we made this one pan down to the right. So if you watch what's happening to this image, it is actually zooming down to the right to kind of give you a little more cool animation effect there. And this one's doing the opposite. So just play around, find what you like, uh, click download, and you can upload it straight to Facebook, and you should be good to go. So hopefully that was helpful. That is kind of the recap, or the not the recap, the ending of our introductory series here. So hopefully you have a good idea of how everything works at Niche Scraper. And in the next videos, we will talk about how you can actually utilize that and optimize it to find really, really cool products for your own store and start making a uh, decent amount of money dropshipping with these winning products. Um, some other useful things to note is we have an FAQ. If you have other questions, check this out. Um, you can contact us. Um, if you're interested in being an affiliate, please do let us know. Go here, sign up for an affiliate account. Um, you, know, you get commission every time you refer somebody. We have some more tutorials here. Um, you know, we talk about uh, some seven rules of dropshipping, which is like a checklist of things you should know when you dropship. Uh, we have Facebook ad tutorials, uh, SEO tutorials. Um, let's go through and check them out. But that's everything you need to know. So hopefully that was helpful and see you in the next video.